If you were so good, you'd be doing it yourself. On the merit of it, this statement sounds brilliant. But let's break it down and see how true it actually is. Firstly, how do you know I'm not doing it myself already? But let's assume for the purpose of this video that I'm not and that this is my only income. The facts are that people who are doing it for themselves don't have time to help you out. People who are doing it for themselves have no knowledge of how to grow, build and develop other people because that is not their trade. They are doers, not coaches. Let's say you're a golfer. Would you rather be trained by the best golfer in the world or the best builder of golfers in the world? 99% of the elite coaches on the planet were not necessarily great players themselves. Their trade was to build great players, not be great players. They're totally different. Would you like somebody who already has a nice house to build your house for you? Or would you like a builder to build your house for you? How many of the top football coaches in the world or football managers in the world were the best players in the world? There's only one that stands out as an exception, Zinedine Zidane, but even in that case, he hasn't built great players, he just manages them and probably has a team of 100 plus coaches around him that are experts in building great players. Back to golf. Now I know the answer would be if you could choose between getting coached by the best player in golf or being coached by the best coach in golf, the answer would probably be to be coached by the best player in golf because everyone would like to be coached by Tiger Woods. Because being coached by the GOAT would be absolutely epic and a once in a lifetime opportunity and I would certainly choose that if I had the option. But if we think about it logically and in reality, yes, Tiger Woods would add some value, but is he a better coach than his coaches? No. Would he do a better job of caddying for you versus his caddy? The answer is still no. Although it still would be cool to be caddied by Tiger Woods. I agree. And my final point here is that when Tiger Woods was on tour in his prime in the early 2000s, do you think he'd even thought about coaching or caddying one of the other players on tour? If one of his competitors was to go and ask him, can you coach me Tiger Woods? Or can you caddy for me please Tiger Woods? You're such a great player, I want you to help me. He would have thought they'd lost the plot. His coach, however, would have been coaching many other players on tour and taking learnings from one player and teaching other players and gradually building up his repertoire of coaching because it's his job and his trade to focus and learn how to become the best coach. And you learn that by coaching other people, not by doing it for yourself. That's the same with me. And if we take Tiger Woods for the example, 100% he would have added some anecdotal value to any player. 100% he would have taken advice from some of the greatest players who was his predecessors like Jack Nicklaus, Seve. But his early coaches were his dad and Butch Harmon who have only one PGA Tour win between them. But yet they still produced the greatest of all time because that was their job. That's why everyone at an elite level in sport, they're looking for the best coaches to coach them. So let's go back. People who are doing it themselves don't have time to coach you. People who are doing it themselves don't have the skill set to coach you. Even the best players are looking for the best coach, not the best doers or players to coach them. So the best player does not make the best coach. My goal of striving to be one of the best coaches in the world is likely to make me one of the best coaches in the world. If my goal was to be the best business owner in the world, that wouldn't have a direct translation to being the best coach in the world. So, so going back to the first question, anyone who says, if you're so good, you'd be doing it yourself. I hope I've explained that just because you're a good player, it doesn't have any correlation to being a good coach. And the fact that you are watching this video, I would love to coach you. So please do get in touch.